Freund. Ja. Der so hoch schon mit der Folge so. Okay, so we will kick off with the uh, live section and we'll start with Hamish. Well, you perhaps start off with Josh McLeod. How much cotton wool are you back in in this week? Not a lot, to be honest. Uh, we've just had a, uh, a couple of unit sessions this morning and Josh was flying into it, so uh, not holding back at all. Um, but it's a it's an interesting story, isn't it? He's been selected twice before and unfortunately picked up injuries. So third time lucky and, um, you know, we're all pleased that he's uh, get, uh, getting an opportunity and we're, uh, we can't wait to see him go. Yeah, just explain the thinking. Uh, four test matches, so we've just got to be a little bit careful um, with some players. Uh, Toby's had two very, very uh, big games, 80-minute games, where both in attack and defence he's he's been... Uh, to the force, so we just think uh, giving him uh, less than 80 minutes this week uh, will benefit him for a week's time, um, and it's an opportunity, as we say, to see Josh. Josh, very strong over the ball, um, gives us in tandem with Jack Morgan, you know, some threats over the ball defensively, which um, you know we're looking forward to seeing how those two operate together. So yeah, he's he's one that we need to learn about at this level. He brings a lot of physicality into the training sessions, so we hope that transfers into the game. Talking about new caps or potential new caps, Heather Jenkins on the bench and no Arnold Jones. Just explain those decisions. Yeah, again, we're, we're sort of looking at this week. There's also uh, an eye on next week. Um, David's available this week, but not next week with the IRB uh, Reg 9. So we think that uh, he's back on the playing field now over his injury. He's got a leadership role there at Exeter, going very well. So it's a good time for us to get him into the environment he's been in before, helped us prep for South Africa, did very, very well. Uh, in a live scenario match that we had internally. Um, so, yeah, we, we want to have a look at him, and we think this is the, the obvious time to do that, and uh, Al will be fresh, uh, fresh for next week. Take back Burris from half as well. Yes, um, and again, uh, we need to see him now in a match. He's been in camp now for three weeks, working very, very hard on his game. He's been watching the other two uh, and learning, and uh, so hopefully he'll get, a, get an opportunity in the game. Louis Rees clearly did enough at full back to stay there. Jack Morgan in the back row did too. Yeah, and, and you know, we, we've sort of looked at the Australian game and, and players that are going to be unavailable, and, and we've left the majority of them out. Uh, but Louis had uh, he's had the one start at full back. We want to put him back out there and uh, see how he goes, how he backs that performance up, because we need to know what the options, serious options are going forward for us in that, in that back three. And, uh, you know, he was very, very promising on game one. Jack Morgan, you know, just his performance last week. And, and yeah, yeah. Look, I think um, you know when you bring guys off the bench, you want them to make impact, and he certainly made impact um, both with the ball and defensively. Um, you know, he, he's put on a little bit of size, uh, which is what we're after. He's uh, he's very strong now, and uh, I think uh, uh, it's exciting to see him go. As I said, in tandem with Josh McLeod and Justin Tiprick, uh, it'll be exciting to watch those three go. Lee Halfpenny on the bench, is that with the night next week as well? Yeah, well, Louis won't be here next week. So, uh, you know, we, we're down to about four back three players in the squad. So it's important that we got Josh back and get uh, some game time into him. And uh, uh, it's a bit of a rest for Rio, but um, he'll be available for next week. So yeah, there is a bit of eye to next week as well as obviously having to get a job done against a, a good Georgian team. And what do you make of Georgia? Obviously, a couple of years ago, you had experience playing them, but... Uh, Maybe they've fallen off a bit since then? Well, you know, we've looked at them very closely and uh, I think they're trying to move a bit more ball than they used to. Um, got a very handy fullback, he's got good footwork and uh, likes to play a bit. So, you know, we're going to have to keep an eye on them. There's no doubt about that, they're very physical. Uh, you saw that in the game with Samoa, two physical teams going at it. Uh, so, you know, we're going to have to front up as we did last week physically um, with the ball and without the ball. So that's our challenge is to back up last week and go again for another 80. Uh, because if we uh, if we don't go for the full 80, we'll, we'll be in trouble like any side. Uh, any player that captains Exeter is obviously a serious player. It's a whirlwind for Dav Jenkins, albeit you've said he's been in and around the, the squad. And he's already, in dispatches, been mentioned as a bolter for the World Cup. He, he may be beyond that. Oh, we'll see, won't we? He's certainly going well in training. Uh, you know, the first session today, uh, the classroom work yesterday. Um, you know, he's a fast learner. He's picked everything up uh, straight away. 
uh, and did well in training this morning. The units work, so I expect him to go well again this afternoon. And, and um, you know, he's very much looking forward to hopefully getting onto the park on Saturday and showing what he can do. He's a big man. He's only young, as you say, but. He's got quite a bit of experience for his age already, as you alluded to with Exeter. And uh, with Rob Baxter having him in the leadership group there, and he's captain the side last weekend, it speaks volumes of how he's thought of there. This game, traditionally over 10, 15 years, has been tough for Wales in that sometime coaches can, between a rock and a hard place in terms of selection, getting the balance between um, giving players a chance and opportunity, but also you need that cornerstone um, in terms of experience, were you mindful of that? I know there's uh, uh, half a dozen changes, but was that on your mind? Yeah, well, there's a number of factors in terms of the selection. The, the, there's uh, the backbone of the team that played last week is involved, and that's one, a sign of respect for the opponent, who I think have improved. Um, and, you know, we also have a, another game next week, and we didn't want to make wholesale changes and then have to make wholesale changes the following week. So a bit of continuity from last week. I think it's really important for this group that we back that <coughs> excuse me, performance up with a, another good performance. It was nowhere near perfect, we know that. Um, we're working hard to uh, be a little bit more ruthless on attack and some of the opportunities we're creating, making sure we finish more of them off. Um, and we want to maintain that, uh, that defensive effort, but with a lot more discipline. Um, because again, two games in a row, we gave away the first half dozen penalties. Uh, 17 points the first week. and in six last weekend so we want to start a lot better in terms of our discipline just a final one from here away from the rugby field we saw a lovely moment the the squad clapping the the welsh football team uh, away on their journey to qatar um shows the togetherness uh, and obviously many football fans uh, amongst the amongst the squad yeah too right Every, everybody's got their favorite team and and clearly with wales going um you know it's, it's going to be a country effort isn't it getting in behind the boys and you know, a lot of our players know a lot of the football boys and um, it was a pleasure to be in the hotel with them actually and, and, to, and to see them off because it's a, a massive stage and they're going to represent the country well, we know that, and uh, they've got our full support. Okay. Uh, does anyone else want anything live or... Okay, uh, we'll move to the embargo writer's briefing just over in the corner. Thank you. Um, I'm going to move it, guys.